Are you a fake Christian? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, I'm sitting here this morning at the crack of dawn with my coffee and enjoying the morning. Hope you're doing well today. Here's the question that I was asked. Dear Pastor Bob, I seem to be struggling with my faith. I read the Bible daily. I have the Lord's Prayer memorized, although I sometimes leave out a part. I talk to my family about Jesus and try to teach them too. I watch the sanctuary guys and many others almost constantly. The problem is I know I'm saved, but I feel like I let him down constantly. I almost feel like I'm faking it. Am I a fake Christian? That's a great question, isn't it? Because I think all of us at some point kind of feel like we're not doing so well and maybe we're a fake Christian. There's a couple things that you said in your question here, and I'm talking to this person that wrote and maybe many others. You said you're struggling with your faith. You know, and I think that's typical of most of us struggling because we don't do it really well. We struggle with it. <laughs> and he knows that. You know, I've said before that the Christian faith is impossible. It is. It's impossible to live the Christian life. And God knows it. And he sent Jesus to die on the cross because of that. So this person went on and said, I read my Bible daily. I have the Lord's Prayer memorized, although I sometimes leave out a part. I like that. You know, it isn't about the rituals. It isn't about saying the Lord's Prayer, by the way. It was an example, not something that you have to do every day. <clears throat> it was an example of what it's like to have a relationship with God. What kinds of things might you incorporate in a prayer? But you see, prayer isn't memorizing something. It's speaking to God from your heart. Whatever you're going through, whatever is on your mind, talking to him. And then doing a lot of listening. Because you see, most of prayer is actually listening. You know, spending time with God and listening to what he might be telling you. Your marching order, so to speak. Or those things that might help you to get through the day and solve a particular problem. And many times in prayer and Bible reading, you'll find those things. But he says, I, I know I'm saved, but I let him down constantly. I almost feel like I'm faking it. We do let him down constantly. I do and you do. We all do. And that's the point. You know, for God so loved the world that he gave, gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not based on your performance. It's not based on your discipline because you can't discipline. It's not based on your great dedication because you can't dedicate or rededicate. It's based on your surrender. You see, he died for you, and he simply asked that you believe and that you connect. And that connection is what keeps us going. Even though we struggle, even though we feel like we're fake sometimes, even though we let him down, it's still that foundation that he gave us. Not a foundation that we achieve, the foundation that he gave. For God so loved the world that he gave. It's a, it's a gift from his love to you. And he says, I just want you to accept the gift. I just want to love you. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, that, does that mean we shouldn't try? No. But when you surrender to Jesus Christ, when you allow him to come into your life and the Holy Spirit moves in, you become a new person. The Bible says the old things are gone, the new things have come. 
What's new? Well, the Holy Spirit and everything that he brings. And when that begins to happen, there's a transformation that takes place. And all of a sudden, you're not doing all the things you used to do. Yeah, you mess up, but you see a pattern of correcting. You see a pattern of getting better because you see a pattern of love. The one thing that helps us to get better, to stop faking it and blowing it and whatever is to love, love, love. Love God, love yourself, love your neighbor. Those three things. And when you do that, it's a game changer. Your life begins to change, your heart begins to change. And those things that you struggle with get a little easier because love breaks through. That's the way it works. I hope that helps. God bless you. Have a great day.